My name is Janice Yang. I am a figurative oil painter, and my paintings are reflections of my life and the people that I'm engaged with. Here in my paintings in my show, I explore the idea of identity, especially in the context of American immigrant youth who are caught between two different cultures. As a Korean American immigrant, I have seen and felt a lot of challenges that American immigrants often experience to find their sense of identity in our society. So throughout my own journey, I became interested in exploring the idea of identity. Often the subjects in my paintings are children of immigrant families that encounter cultural tensions and face challenges in finding their sense of belonging. I often like to place the subjects in the settings of their everyday lives and juxtapose them with their inner feelings and dreams to find their identity. It's seen through their symbolic optics and patterns around them. This painting is called Kashigogi. I named after the name of this fish right here. So it's called Kashigogi in Korean. And it's in English, it's Korean nine spine stickleback fish. And it's Korean endangered fish. And there is a famous Korean novel by this name. And this fish is used as a metaphor of how parents sacrifice their life for their children. And that theme is very well known in Korea. So I wanted to use this idea that among the Asian immigrants that I know, including myself, the parents work so hard and give up so much for their children. And this, on the other hand, also becomes another challenge for the immigrant children as they are still figuring out their identity since they have a lot of pressure to leap up to their parents' expectations as they know how much they are sacrificing their lifestyles to support their children. I wanted to show how the immigrant youth and their parents can have different desires and values from each other. And this can even complicate the child's, the child's immigrant experience as they feel isolated from, isolated from their parents. In this painting, they are working together. So I happen to see a lot of Korean immigrant families they, that, that own small business. And in this case, it's a cleaners. And the daughter, I used myself as a model. And the daughter is actually helping her mom. And that's actually my mom. And I used her as my model. And she's, uh, in, even though they're in this space where they're really close to each other, the inwardly, she's separated fr from her mom because I so, and she's in this moment of daydreaming. And she's isolated in her thoughts of thinking about her identity and the dreams that she wants to reach in order to find the sense of identity. Another symbolic object here is this fish, is salmon. Um, in, in the US, salmon is really well known. So I wanted to represent the, this new culture that I'm learning uh, in, as I'm in the US, or this girl is learning as she's in the US. And the salmon is well known for this idea of coming, going back to where they were from. So I wanted to also show the idea of um, 
my hope to find a sense of my real home and belonging in this painting. And in this painting, it's called Daydreaming of Monarch Butterflies. And in here, I wanted to address the conflict between how one uh, can see herself and how others can see her. Um, this added layer of multiculturalism complicates this girl's search for her identity. The reflection in the mirror combines multiple meanings. Um, so it's the same girl, um, she's looking into the reflection of herself. And the girl in the mirror is dressing, dressed in traditional Mexican clothes and gazing at us asking, is this how you see me? Will I always be Mexican? Or she's also maybe appealing to us saying, I don't know how to see myself. Or is this the real me inside? So um, she's on this line between the culture of her na national heritage and the, and the American culture. And she constantly has to change herself depending on what social group she's together with. The line never may never go away, even if she gets older. And the two sides of her may always have to conflict with each other. The butterflies represent her national heritage as well as her immigrant experience. The monarch bu butterflies are well known for immigrating from Mexico to the US and going back to Mexico during the winter. When they hibernate in Mexico, they use the very same trees every and each year, which seems interesting because they aren't the same butterflies from last year. They are like the new fourth generation of monarch butterflies but they know which trees are the right ones to hibernate in. So I use this idea to show how our past and cultural background is still embedded in us, even though we keep constantly changing as we adopt to a new culture. This painting up here is called Julissa. I named the painting after the name of the subject. I created this painting when the pandemic just started. I felt very insecure to go outside and meet other people because I uh, had people that would think that I have a COVID just because of the fact that I looked as an uh, East Asian. So while being self-quarantined in my studio, I was able to turn my negative emotions into something that gave me more hopes and strength in as I thought of people that I was engaged with and how much I really appreciate the time I spent uh, with them before the pandemic. So I thought of Julissa, who was also an immigrant child and is also very bicultural, like myself. And I wanted to show how confident and proud she was of her national heritage as a Mexican American. And she would often share with me about the fascinating things that she discovered about her culture after visiting her homeland in Mexico. So while I was painting her, it really reminded me that I have to really st stand strong and be proud of myself just as who I was as Korean American. In this painting, she's holding the charm, uh, the necklace uh, that represent the birth and year that she was born. And she's sort of looking at us, but also telling us that she is very proud of herself and really confident of showing her uh, as who she is. So I hope these paintings serve as a bridge between people who are not very familiar with the exper uh, immigrant experience and the immigrant identity and the people who are like the subjects in my paintings. So I hope you get to check out my show in person and thank you for watching.